Exploration Films. Check us out on the web at explorationfilms.com. If you take an egg and you put it in warm water, you will see bubbles coming out. Now, why do you see those bubbles? Well, because there's little holes all through the egg shell, about 10,000 actually in a chicken shell. Those holes are there so that the chick can breathe, because that's where he gets his air, through those holes, so they can get the waste out of the shell, because the chick, as he develops, is going to eat the yolk, and the yolk, as he burns it up, there's waste products, there's water and different things given off, and he has to be able to get the waste out of the shell, or, or for instance, just the amount of water that's given off, he would drown right there in the shell. How do you explain all the intricate mechanisms and the perfect timing that it takes for an egg to develop, making this whole thing happen? because every step of the way the chick would be dead. Everything has to be done on a particular day and in a particular order and the timing has to be exactly right or you have a dead chick. If you have ever boiled an egg or eaten a hard boiled egg, you'll notice when you peel the egg, there's like that little membrane in there. And that membrane has to be there and we'll talk about that in just a minute. But on one end of the egg, it's flat and it looks like the chicken didn't quite fill the egg. Well, that's a special place. That's called the air sac. And so now we take all these parts and we put them together and we have this little fertilized egg and now this little chick is developing. By the fifth day, its little heart is pumping. Blood vessels have grown out of the chick. Uh, two of them go up, hook into the membrane. And those are the ones that it's going to breathe through. It'll get its air through that. Uh, the air comes through the pores or the holes in the shell up to the membrane. And then the membrane transfers the oxygen uh, to the artery, the vein that goes into the chick. And then the other uh, vessel that hooks into that uh, gets rid of the waste. And so there's a process there of things coming in and things going out of the shell. Uh, two more blood vessels hook into the yolk, and that's the way the chick eats. And as he lives in this shell, he begins to uh, get to where he's too big and he can't get enough air. And it's now the 19th day. Now, during this time, he has grown a little tooth on top of his beak. It's called the egg tooth. Now, most of us grow our teeth inside our mouth, not on our beak, but the little chick has this little egg tooth. And on the 19th day, uh, he takes that and he pokes a little hole into that flat end of the egg where the air is. That's called the air sac. And now he has six hours to breathe. Now, if we're swimming and we're on the bottom of the swimming pool and we've run out of air and we get up to the top and we're... Oh, I just made it. We usually just sit there and lean there and get some good air and breathe a while. Well, not the chick, because if he got into that air sac, I mean, he's going, uh, uh, I can't get enough air. And he pecks into that on the 19th day, not one day sooner or one day later, or it's dead. It's the 19th day, goes into that sac. Now he's got six hours. Now, is he going to just sit there and breathe that air? Or is he going to say, I need to do something else with this air, which is what he says. I've got to get a little hole and use this six hours of air. I got six hours to peck a little hole through the shell. And now he breathes from the 19th to the 21st day through this little hole in the shell. On the 21st day, that's the day he breaks out of the shell. Now, in the meantime, the systems that hook into the membrane and the systems that hook into the yolk, all of those little vessels, they begin to disattach or deattach themselves and when he comes out of the shell, sometimes he might have a blood vessel hanging on him somewhere or something like that. But the fact is, these things, it's like he's dropped his space suit off and he is ready to go. And so he comes out of that shell on the 21st day. But every single step along the way had to have perfect timing. It had to be done exactly right. And when he comes out, he's a discrete entity. There's, there's no mistake. This is a chick. All we see in all of nature, in the fossil record and in living creatures, is just discrete, uh, identifiable. We can label them, that's a cow, that's a chicken. And so I think that's more evidence that God made everything, including little chicks, just exactly like they are. Exploration Films, where curious truths and uncommon minds meet.